That was weird. Future Pal, check that out. New, uh, hi, Nox. I'll keep him alive just long enough to see the health bar. See if I've defeated him before or not. No, I haven't. Prepare to die. Why not? Did you see that? Link drop kicked the skull. I'm here at Death Mountain to investigate the cause of the smoke that has been creating the game's fog since day one. That fog is so prevalent that it's even infected Washington State and the West Coast at large. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we started talking about the end game. And you might notice here that I have 91.52% of the game complete. That's, uh, <laughs> that's quite the improvement. I currently have 805 Korok seeds, and the quest log is looking narrower and narrower by the day. This time, we're going to be starting things off with a boss battle. The best way to start off an episode, all we have to do is jump towards the Divine Beast and listen to Jeruk's deep voice. To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Rudania's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it merely as a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. The fumes are getting to me. My oxygen supply is running out. Oh! <laughs> As I said last episode, this is a boss battle that I have been looking forward to. Of all of them, this illusory realm it was created from the depths of your memories. Because I feel like this one I didn't quite scratch the surface of. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Oh yeah, they they take away my weapons and stuff. Oh, and my food. Oh. Uh, I forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah, so I believe I can shield bash the giant death sphere back at him. And otherwise, I just... I have a deeper understanding. Excuse me. A deeper knowledge of Breath of the Wild than I did when I first bought this. Same with Water Blight. Those are the two that that have uh, have had the biggest gap between me fighting them. So I I am wondering. No, oh, you do zip it. Okay, uh, let's just make sure I have a Boulder Breaker. That's my only weapon. I have Ice Arrows. Interesting. That that gives a hint at some depth that I wasn't aware of. No shield. So I guess the shield bashing is out of the realm of possibility. Level three armor. And no, really, just no food. Uh, okay, I, I have two charges of Jeruk's protection. Oh, I'm not sure if I can flurry rush that. Alright, so what are we supposed to be doing here? Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Can I stasis him? I can stasis him. Yeah, I don't... Oh, flurry rush. I don't remember any of this. I, I will be completely honest. I don't remember what he looks like. Oh. Okay, thankfully this timing is pretty gracious. I don't remember what he looks like. I didn't remember how this part of the battle. I remember... Oh, I don't even remember that. I do not even remember that. That's... That's cool. Oh. Thankfully, it's a gracious timing. And the battle's almost over when it just began. Oh, that's a, that's a hard timing as well. Yeah, this guy is a, a little bit odd. I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to go ahead and eat up right now. Forgive me for going easy mode, but remember, I am still rusty. Well, this is the second ep- oh, boy. Okay, I, I dodged it. That's good. Oh, nice. Brilliant. 
And second phase we go! Yeah, I'm still rusty. And while that rustiness still leaves me at a higher spot, a higher spot in skill than I was when I originally did this, I'm still wondering how... I'm, I'm still floundering a little bit. Might as well just call me the Floundering Fish. Yes, I watch that channel too. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I recently discovered that... Oh, this is so pretty. This is so gorgeous. Ah! All right, let's, let's try the first method. He's gonna throw it at me. Okay, that just eliminates it. That doesn't actually do anything, though. But yeah, uh, there was, uh, I found out that Mario Kart, Mario Kart uh, Wii has a strong, uh, strong community following that I did not know of. And, blow him up. Time skip over. Boosh! Okay, let's see if I can... Bow! Spin! Come on, come on. Nope. He had, he had an invulnerability as soon as he got up. So he'll, he'll reappear, pop his own Daruk's maybe not, maybe not. Oh, whoo, got him. Yeah, that, that timing is, is pretty strict. It's a very late timing as opposed to the, the vertical strike where you can do it like about a week before you see it coming. Uh, oh, you're just going to do that. Okay. Uh, let's just run from this one. I'm going to hit out. Okay, so they gave us the ice arrows because they do not expect us to be able to run. Oh, that's where that attack comes from. I I don't remember seeing that with a uh, Ganon. Oh, I'm I'm in danger. Oh boy, I am in absolute actual danger. Uh, okay. Druk's protection. I'm I'm going to try and not use Druk's protection willy nilly here, and I need Darbosa's fury as well. Yeah, this is, uh, this is some dire straits I'm in. Th if this fire touches me, I die. Oh, got it. Got the flurry rush. Oh, I still took damage. Oh, I hope I can, I can. Oh, really? I have, okay, I have this. I have this. Oh, that was close. Uh, let's, come on, Urbosa. Yes. That was surprisingly close. We saw a bunch of attacks that I've never witnessed before. That was pretty sweet. He had some attacks that we saw uh, with the final boss, which I thought they, they were they were originally uh, they were original to the final boss, but no. Fire Blight had some tricks up his sleeve that we never saw in the first battle. Also, I didn't know he used his laser. Does that mean? I don't think all of the Blights use lasers, so it's this one and Wind Blight both use the Guardian laser. Huh. Oh, there's Cass. Wait a minute. This is... Is this... This is a cutscene. I don't remember this. Well, well, so our aims are different. Our feet took us to the same direction. I speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by foot. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Daruk has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. And no, we've done this before. It's just been a long time. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Varudanya, which Dirk himself mastered. Mm. I have written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Dirk. Recall Rudania's Champion of Flame. Before his favorite fated moment finally came. This is the tale of the great Zaruk's task and the princess who came to ask. Ah, oh, count me in, tiny princess. I'm the fearless Zaruk, after all. And if I rule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's Calamity Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. In times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like Father. 
He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Hmm? That could only be... Hmm? What the... They really are all over the place these days. Hmm? Is someone being attacked? Cowards! Wait here, princess. stands a chance when fighting me, the almighty Garouk. <laughs> oh. You're safe. Aww. here was the one being attacked. <laughs> Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? <coughs> well. Good riddance, and stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. I still panic when I see one of those critters. I never imagined the great Daruk would have a weakness. So tell me, princess. Yes? Calamity Ganon isn't, uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? Hmm, I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh, the end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. I knew you could do it, little guy. Now you can use Daruk's protection more than ever. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for me. Good riddance, bacon breath. Did he just call Ganon a cannibal? I mean, the implied message is that Ganon is a pig, but if a pig had bacon breath, that, was, that would mean he had that because he ate bacon. Pigs don't just smell like bacon while they're alive. So he just called Ganon a cannibal, which means Ganon w the, Ganon must have a brother. S um, am I reading into too much into this? Ganon must have a brother somewhere that is also an evil pig monster, because you don't find evil pig monsters every day. I think I uh, I derived too much meaning from that. Champion Daruk's divine beast gift, not beast. Uh, as so long as you're holding ZL, it'll automatically protect you from all manner of attacks. It now requires less time to charge, which is great. If you're a noob, and you need Druk's protection in order to exist, but I am not a noob. I have a beautiful thing called shield bashing, and it's way better. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with Destiny. I need to go back in there, because Druk will have some additional dialogue when we clear it. Little guy, can you pass along a message to the youngster for Ooh. me? This ought to be good. Tell him, when I was young... Nobody gave me the time of day. I was green as grass and timid as a mouse. <laughs> Just work hard, watch out for your brothers, and eat lots of tasty rocks. Do that, and you'll be stronger than me. It'd be great if you could tell him that for me, brother. All right, uh, now, a couple of people in the comments wondered if there was additional, additional dialogue if I fought him a third time. 
So, I'm gonna make the sacrifice play and do it. And fight it a third time. You better appreciate it! Hey there, little guy. Wow. Say, do you remember when we first met? Honestly, I never thought I'd find a Hylian strong enough to be considered a true brother. I was so shocked. <laughs> then I had a dopey look on my face. Hmm. Maybe it's best if you don't remember that part. I've done it three times. Well, I might as well do it a fourth. You never know. Hey, little guy. What? Listen, I'm trusting There's still you dialogue. Soon, okay? Between you and me, there was once a monster Why is there I just still couldn't beat. I hated that stupid thing. When I was young, I stepped on its tail, and it went yep, and burf, and Mmm, nasty critter. I can still see its awful face and sharp fangs. Facing your fears is certainly no walk in the bark. I, I mean, park. <laughs> Why are there still voice lines? Little guy, <laughs> I'm guessing your memory's still scrambled, yeah? <gasps> Maybe it'd help if you read that thing about our memories. You know, the one from back in the good old days. What's that thing? Oh yeah, my diary. I, I mean, my training journal. I bet it's still around. <sighs> what? Surprised I kept the journal? If you're curious, try to find it. I'm going to do this one more time. And if I do it one more time and there's new dialogue, I will concede the point that they recorded this for about an hour and a half. And they used every single take. So if you hear the director in one of these takes, that's why. It just they, they had the voice actor talking in character for like an hour and a half. And they put all the voice clips in. Hey, little guy. So you came to test your skills again, huh? With the strength you've mustered, I'm sure beating down Calamity Cannon will be a piece of slate. That seemed like a good final voice line, a good generic one where it doesn't feel like he's repeating himself. So I would say he, they're probably out of voice lines. Alright, with the rest of the episode, since that was just the beginning, although for me I've recorded for like three hours now, I am going to be going over to Kakariko Village and seeing if there are any new side quests awaiting us. And I for, know for a fact already that there are. So let's warp over to the Teloneg Shrine, or Nay. Not egg, not not egg, not egg shrine, and let's uh, let's uh complete at least one quest. It feels like just yesterday we were asking this woman the question. I wish I could still ask her. Can I have your clothes? <laughs> but no, that's not why we're here. We're not here to ask her for her clothes. That's not the hidden quest line. The reason why we're here, I still feel like there should be a cork seed in there, is to go over to the bow woman. Besides talking to everyone, I know for a fact that the person in the bow shop has a quest for us. So we'll just shimmy on in here. Hello. Welcome. Hmm. An archer with a strong build. I could look at you all day. Oh, sorry. My imagination ran away with me. Do you need something? <laughs> I'll take that quest. You could look at me all day. I like your attitude. All you gotta do is light the torches by the goddess statue. Think you're up to the challenge? Yes, you got it. The thought of a young hunk drawing a bow just makes my day. <laughs> you, uh, you keep letting it make your day, honey, and then we'll go talk later. What? <laughs> Let's go light those arrows <laughs> before I embarrass myself even more. Light. Just, we're lighting these? Okay. <gasps> Can I light them all at once? Oh, please say I can. I want it, I, this, I need this, I need this in my life. Okay, back up. Blam? No, not even close. All right, well, whatever. Uh, you know what? Let's just not be fancy. Shoot. I, I guess we are kind of, uh, we were being fancy and I'm taking it for granted. We are shooting five arrows at once. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Now, did she watch? If she said she watched, I th she's either amazingly stealthy, a liar, or she has 
a Sheikah Slate of her own or a plethora of mirrors so she can see that area. Let's go talk to her. Hello. Done already? Hey, kid. I saw you. You were amazing. Boy, what a shot in the heart that was. My husband's a fine archer himself. Wait. Wait a minute. Those ladies... You... <sighs> You go, you go see your husband. This feeling, it's been so, so long. I'm so excited right now. That was, that was really something special to see. In fact, here, a token of my thanks. Aww. If only my husband hadn't become obsessed with Kukos and kept up with his archery skills. If only. Oh, that was awkward. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect that. I didn't expect to run into that conundrum in a video game. <laughs> she, she was married. Oops, uh, let's just go buy some carrots. Or, no, butter. Let's go buy some goat butter. Drown our sorrows in food. No, I want all of them. Yes, I want all of them. And then... I can't eat them straight. Aw, oh, that's, that's sad. I was gonna drown my, my sorrows in fattening food. Okay, well, uh... That aside, let's go talk to some other people? Master Link. Why is it that all the women fantasize about Link in this town? I get- actually, no, I, I understand it. I, I totally understand it. This is- this town has lived in anticipation of Link's arrival, so he would be in the thoughts and minds of everyone. He's ingrained into their culture over 100 years. It would make total sense for them to- have a bit of hero worship as soon as he, he arrives. Oh, it's you, Master Link. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Is something the matter? Do you need something from me? What you doing? I'm just polishing, polishing the guardian deities. These deities are like signposts that guide us through our lives. Master Link, I want you to know that the path you are walking down is one we should all follow. I, I, I'm afraid that doing stuff like this is the only way I can... Do only thing I can do to help you. She has a serious crush on Link. My word. Get in line, sister. Get in line. Well, thankfully your contenders are a currently uh, currently sealed within an evil beast princess who is uh, over a hundred years old and a married woman over there. So, congrats. You're at the top of the list. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to end it here. You might have noticed with the tone shift that this part of the episode has switched into post-commentary. For that, I apologize. I really try to keep my videos recorded live, but here it couldn't be helped. I had this episode very well plotted out. We we're going to fight the boss, go to Kakariko to do a quick quest, and then go to Hateno and clear out two long-standing quests. And I did that. But what I didn't expect, looking at the timeline right now, is for the extra Druk voice lines to have taken up that much of the episode. My plan was for us to be done with them at around 11 minutes. What ended up happening is we were done around 17 minutes, and that's fully cut down. So, that being said, I'm relegating the Hiteno segment, which I've already recorded, to next episode. Now this also works out because in this recording, you might have noticed, Daruk mentions his diary, or, <laughs> sorry, his training journal, or his training notes. And I didn't follow through on that. That information went in one ear, out the other, and my rust at Breath of the Wild made me completely forget to go read his journal. I'm going to be fixing that next episode. So starting next episode, we are going to read his journal right at the beginning, so I can't forget. That'll be the first thing we do, and then we'll move over to Hateno. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video even still. Uh, at least it's a little bit shorter than normal. It makes it easier to watch. Uh, join us next time. Uh, I believe it'll be Wednesday. No, it'll be Tuesday. It'll be next week for the next episode, episode 142 of Breath of the Wild. Just as a quick reminder, I am going camping in between this and the next episode. Isn't likely to affect the schedule at all. I just want to make note of it in case I get sick or I die. Something like that, that uh, you guys can notify my next of kin and they can inherit the channel. Alright, thank you my, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh. Uh, bye!